Many students may be done with remote learning, but the effects of isolated schooling is showing inside classrooms. Tanisha Cordell is live outside of Parma High School this morning. And Tanisha, you got a chance to speak to one mother who became overwhelmed with a sense of failure after seeing her kids struggle with all of this. Yep, Danita, that's right. And we know, as we talked about before, she's not alone. Many parents right now juggling so much while also having concerns, wondering and hoping their kids bounce back from this pandemic wall they've seemed to have hit, whether it's just feeling unmotivated or struggling to get back in the groove to the way things used to be. A single mom raising three kids, one in high school, another in middle school, and the youngest in elementary. There is that glimmer of hope. I, I hear that excitement in their voice. All three now adapting to more change back in the classroom in Parma full time. I've seen a little bit one a change in their demeanor and they're, you know, they're being more active. They're, you know, they're being a little bit more outgoing. But each of them still struggling. One is even dealing with separation anxiety. It's trying to get her acclimated of not wanting to leave school because she wants to come home all the time. Denise Chuma blames it all on remote learning. As it went on, it was a hit or miss. She also blames herself. I really felt very defeated yeah. and it was just like, ugh, those moments, those are the moments that hurt me the most of me questioning, you know, being a parent and trying to be a teacher, trying to be, you know, the friend, trying to be, you know, everything all in one yeah. and just failing completely. And she's not alone. Aside from offering various school outreach programs, Don Tabai, a Valley Forge guidance counselor, says she had to coach parents on how to cope. There's definitely been a sense of anxiety among, among students, among adults, uh, the not knowing things changing daily and the information we're getting, um, you know, that's been very difficult. And that anxiety piece can stay with the child until they feel some stability. Many of those parents now seeing a difference. Their children seem less depressed, that they're feeling more connected, that, you know, they're coming out of their room more. They're starting to feel that same glimmer of hope Denise is feeling with in-person learning. The staff all around in all schools have been really great. I appreciate my kids a little bit more. I do. Good news there. Well, we do have some tips um, for you guys. If you, your kiddo is, you know, struggling with school right now and just being back in the classroom, the most important thing we're told is just to make sure your kid feels seen. Talk to them. Try to understand what they're going through and also, you know, ask what kind of support they feel they may need. Then honor that. You can also find some support groups or after school programs that support your kiddo's interests. We're told that'll help out as well, if, if possible. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5.